Tonight, or as I like to call it, Friday Eve here at Beyond the Airways, the Infinity Project. And since it's Thursday, it's time for one of our wild cards. Now, we had to make a slight adjustment because um, uh, Secrets of the Unknown, we didn't quite get enough time to get things done. So, what we decided to do is we switched it up. We're going to do Attention to One tonight, and we're going to do um, Spirits, uh, Spirits of the Unknown. Secrets of the Unknown next Thursday. Oh my. Yeah, spirits of the unknown. Well, that would make sense. It's just that. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, um, we'll get to the attention of one topic in a few minutes. Um, anyway, I'm your host for tonight. I am Oddball Extreme. I'm currently joined on the line by two of my three crazy cohorts. Uh, first, we have Spirit Spotter Tim. Hello, Tim. There. Hello, my, hello, my dear. We also have our resident Joker, Mike. Hello, Mike. Good evening. Happy Thursday. Yep. Mike, 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 Mike. And, f <laughs> and finally, our star child, Janet, has had to step away because she's got to take care of one of the dogs right now. Well, you know, that's normal. All right. Uh, anyway, um, before we get to the topic, Mike, you've got some rather big video game news. I do. So earlier, um, um, earlier this morning, I actually found this out while I was listening to um, uh, the breakfast stream that I usually watch on Tuesdays and, and Thursdays. found out that Nintendo dropped a Nintendo Direct on YouTube. They haven't been able to really do any live broadcasts in, in a while, so they've been doing you know drops of videos. Mm -hmm. This one in part, in part uh, particular was for the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary. This year is its 35th um, and, um, anniversary. Um, they've announced some pretty cool stuff. Um, they announced a limited um, edition game and watch that I believe has Super Mario Brothers on in it. Well, let me see if I can find it again. Excuse me. Your excuse. Um, Let's see, while I'm looking for that, um, they announced that they're having some e um, events going on throughout the rest of this year till March. Like, if you complete certain missions through uh, through uh, my my Nan, uh, Nintendo, you can get a Super Mario Brothers 30, uh, 35th anniversary um, pin set, which looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Um. They announced uh, Super Mario 3D World that will be out on the Switch February 21st, 2021. Then out, out on the 18th of this month, they will be releasing Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Hmm. Which is, you have um, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and... Super Mario Galaxy. Wow, mm. that's pretty cool. All in one package. All in one package. That's not getting, let's see. Uh, how many games? Three or four? That's three. That's like getting there was, $180 there was about, about worth about of Super games. Mario Galaxy 2, which would have been nice. Mm -hmm. um, they I'm estimating that they were about $60 a piece released there's gonna individually. Be a brand new pair of of shoes honoring the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary by Puma. Oh wow. Um they released Super Mario All-Stars, the original Super Mario All-Stars um, that was released on the SNES on the uh, Switch today as part of the um, SNES online. I need to check that out. Uh, me too. I got a Switch. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm back by the way. Uh, welcome, welcome back, back. Janet. Um, they announced some um, furniture for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hmm. They've announced merch that you can get either at the um, Nin, uh, Nintendo New York store or on their web store. 
they oh they announced a new Mario Kart game called Mario Kart um, Live Home Circuit, which is and which is really cool because you get to build your very own track at home. Nice. It will come with you can either get a like Mario or Luigi Kart. And it, and it has a camera mounted on it. Nice. And it has a set of four markers that you can use to build your very own track and race. Cool. Oh, so you could like put them all, all hairpin curves if you want to. Yep. 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 You can just make it how, however you want. However Let's easy see. or difficult you want it. Yep. Hey, exactly. before we get started with the attention to one, I got this cute little thing that was given to my dad when he still worked for uh, UP. Well, don't pay it. I'm going to read you what it says, but there is the picture. I don't um, know if you can see it. That not, I wasn't finished yet, though. Oh, okay, Janet, sorry, sorry. I thought you were. Nope. Sorry. Um, also, along with the Super Mario 3D World, there's also a new part of the story. It's called Bowser's Fury. And mm. they announced some... Um, some Super Mario 3D World uh, uh, amiibos. Hmm. Let's see. There was more. Oh, yeah. It's the Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers. So this must be the stuff that came out after Tuesday. No. No, no this, this was, was, this was, this just, was announced today. Yeah. Like out of the it blue. Announced. It was not in yeah. those releases. Yeah. Oh, and they also announced the Super Mario Bros. 35 um, Switch Online Battle Royale type of thing. Okay. It's like it's like Tetris 99, but 35. You have 35 players going through like World One, like you know World One Dash One, yeah. battling each other out, trying to get people out. Ooh, okay. Eliminated. Yes. That will be available until March, March okay. 2021. Cool. But yeah, this was huge. Mm -hmm. There, right. there were leaks of this though, but again, I left it up to speculation just because you know. Yeah. Who knows if it's actually accurate? But this direct proved it. Yep, it did. It is amazing, and I'm looking forward to it. Um. The um, the super the Super Mario All Stars um, 3D All Stars is a limited run, meaning that it will be available to purchase until March 21st or March 31st. Once that day ends, then you can no longer get it. So if you want it, get it like shortly after it comes out, like immediately. Mm -hmm. It'll be on the uh, Switch eShop for fifty nine ninety nine, okay. And it'll be at specific retail lo location, which I do not know where. I know Best Buy has pre orders open, and I think GameStop is getting ready to open them. But be on the watch for that. There's a lot of unknowns right now. But Super Mario thirty fifth anniversary is now here. That's cool. Yep. That's a nice next, surprise to give us. Yeah. And next year will be the Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot of things turning 35 this year. I think, uh, let's see. Let's see. I uh, know ma the Mask cartoon is 35. The Gem cartoon is 35 this year as well. So. Yep. Oh, Gem and the Holograms, as well as the Misfits, must have aged pretty well. Yeah, maybe they did. Oh yes, a uh, couple of couple of quick announcements of my own. Number one, if you have Discovery Family on your cable, Transformers G1 is back on for one episode every weekday at 6:30 a.m. in the morning. So if you're willing to get up early, it's there. <laughs> they have brought it back. And one more real quick piece of news. Um, if you are a Jerry Anderson fan, there is something new coming on October 1st. It's called the First Action Bureau. It's like a is a basically a weekly. It's a weekly 
audio podcast. drama. Podcast? No, not a podcast. It's more like an audio drama. But um, what's really fun about this one is this was made completely during the pandemic. Everybody did it at home. Now, here's where it gets fun. Here's some of the cast. Uh, Richard James, you're probably not familiar with him, but he he was ah. he dresses that he dresses an alien. Oh, nice background. He dresses an Thank alien you. in a uh, space precinct. He also co-hosts the Fab Pot, the Fab Live show with Jamie Anderson on Facebook ever so often. And he was oh, he's the, the, he's this Jamie sidekick, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Also, um, along the cast. If you remember the new Captain Scarlet um, cartoon that was done in CGI, the voice of Captain Scarlet himself, Wayne Forrester, is in this group. Now, this one was the one that blew me away. Sasha, Sasha Dewan, who is currently the master in Doctor Who, he's in this too. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the website to like where mm. you can... You can sign up. You can be one of the first to hear it. And I will tell you right now, it's completely free. So there's the link to the. There's the link. I put it in the Stitch Twitch. That's I Stitch. started following it. You know what? Oh I listened to the preview on Spotify and I started following it on Spotify. Yeah. Well, I heard it on Twitter, thanks to Richard James. And I, when I found about Sasha, I was like, you got the master? That's it. I'm in. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all I got. And you know, the weather the weather has been active, but you know what? I don't think we're really going to need to worry about that tonight. <laughs> well, all I know is you got a tropical depression 15 out there. Yeah. That's what we really got to keep an eye on. Yeah. Especially since it's threatening to go up the coast. Yep. Also, Ash is in the uh, chat room. Hello, Ash. Yo, Hi, Ash. Yo, I, Ash. I put yeah. in my emails for her because she likes the uh, A-bit drummer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to read this poem, and I got to explain it. You know my dad used to work for the railroad, right, Shirley? Yes. Well, while he was working for the railroad, a friend of ours gave him this plaque, and it fit it perfect. Well, you may not be able to see the picture very well. Let me kind of go back and see. But it's an orangutan with with an upset look on its face. And and it could apply to any job. But in this case, it's railroad related. And the title of the poem, it's my job. It's not my place to run the train, the whistle I can't blow. It's not my place to say how far the train's allowed to go. It's not my place to shoot off steam, nor even clang the bell, but let the damn thing jump the track and see who catches hell. (laughs) And in Jack's case, it would have been the yard master. Uh. But um, things have really changed since he was a yard master. Mm -hmm. And, but anyway. Yeah, anyway, um, you know, let's get into our attention to one topic tonight. You know, I was, I, the original plan was trying to get a couple of people to do, we were going to have a topic and all, but, you know, having having this switch, it's like, uh-oh, now there's no time. So I'll save that for next month. So what we're doing tonight, basically talking about why 2020 has been the most insane year ever. <laughs> uh, where do you want to start? Uh, let's see. There's so <laughs> much we can start with. <laughs> Let's Let's see, see, the commander in chief, the pandemic, the wild weather we've been having. Let's see. The the drought, the extreme heat in my case. Yeah. Uh let's see. We've had like at least we've already had fifteen name storms. We're only six away from getting towards the Greek alphabet. Jeez. The weather has been a major screw up. Yeah, the we- yeah, let's put it this way. The weather has been a major screw-up. And, of course, probably the biggest, the big major screw-up of the year has so far has got to be COVID-19. The pandemic, yes. Yep. And you know what really disgusts me? Is there's these people that think they are the privileged few. They don't have to play at the play, play by the rules. Yeah. Yeah, and I could give you the name of one lady in question, and she's in deep shit. 
Pelosi. Mm -hmm. She asked this person to open up the shop so she could get her hair done. And this is in San Francisco where everything like that is shut down. Mm -hmm. so Pelosi's caught flack for that. Yeah. It's like, if it's going to be closed, yeah. I mean, I waited for five months to be able to get a haircut. I waited longer than you. Mm -hmm. um, I had my haircut in like February. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get my March, April, May, late May, beginning of June. No, that was three months. You see, I got my haircut back in March. March, April, May. No, it was going on four months. Okay. Yeah, but see, I got mine back in March. I finally got my hair cut about... Two or three two, weeks ago? About two weeks ago. Because I took advantage of an eight ninety nine coupon that Great Clips had. <laughs> well, you want to know something? Stick with Great Clips. You won't be disappointed. No, I, but, love, I love what that lady did. I will go back to her again. Yeah, and they keep a little piece of paper with what clip... What, clipper comb they used mm -hmm. like in my case when my hair was thicker it was a number five yeah and what i really like was the fact that she 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 took a that little shaver and did the back of my neck to you know it would make it even and more comfortable i i, I told mom about that she said i know exactly what you're talking about because she will i would love to get that for her so if you know if she needs me to cut her hair i can like get get to that back part of her neck yeah do you have a clipper to do it with I have a clipper. I don't I have a razor to do it. Yeah, but I don't know if it would work. <laughs> the razor wouldn't do, I don't think. But yeah. the um. Yeah, but anyway, um, anyway, um, you know, the first case, the first. Now they said the first recorded case was in Washington State. Of course, we found out now that that was actually two confirmed, two a couple months earlier in California. It doesn't matter what state it started in, I don't think. All I know is that coronavirus is wreaking hell. Yeah. In it, all has, it had all 50 states and almost everywhere on the world, except Antarctica. I'm jealous. Hey, I wonder how many of the COVID-19 cases has been in Alaska? Um, I can actually check that. After all, they do have a map. <laughs> They'll plop down in the cage first. Excuse me. All right, let's go Burp. to the let's go to the coronavirus dashboard. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the picture in picture. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, uh, I'm putting. It should be there now. Okay, it's. It's not working on my end. I know the map hasn't come up yet. <laughs> Just say when, because I've okay. got my head facing down. Let's see. Oh, there we go. State level. I can't find out if, what about Alaska. Still not sharing. Hold on. There's the map. It's slowly getting there. As you can see here, by the way, the whole planet, we're over 6 million cases. Oh, damn. Let's see, and we have 186,785 deaths in the U.S. Damn, that's, that's that many too many. over 180,000 deaths on Trump's watch. Yep. Yep. Uh, 186,785. That's how many charges of first-degree murder she'd get. Mm -hmm. And before you protest and say that that requires premeditation, remember, he's the one who called it a hoax. Yep. He's the one who terminated the pandemic response team. Okay. He set uh, it up, knew what he was doing. Mm-hmm. All right, Janet, I can answer your question. Alaska has 40 deaths. Just 40. Maybe the virus can't stand the cold weather. Well, we have to remember it started in cold weather, but then you have to remember Alaska's more isolated, too. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
And same with Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii is also... Yeah, Hawaii isolated. only has 79 deaths. But unfortunately, from what I hear, things are beginning to spike up there because I have a friend in Hawaii, uh huh, Debbie Comstock, and she, she says that um, it's beginning to spike up just a little bit. So Keep wearing your masks, everybody. And practice social distancing. I think I think those are going to be the wor- I think the words of the year are going to be social distancing. Uh, was it maskiny? You know, where people like are supposed to getting uh, breakouts from wearing their mask. Maskiny. Maskiny, like acne. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, all I know is I want to make myself a couple of extra masks. Mm-hmm. And take a look here. Here's the U.S. It's just about. I can't all see it, Shirley. It's not coming up. Well, it's there. Hold on a minute. Oh no, I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the Twitch part. That's why. Okay, never. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like getting on Twitch. I know. I got an idea. Hang on a second. Yeah, if I can get this to work. Okay. Bear with me on this growl. Growl. There, okay. that should do it. Yeah, but the but the state with the lowest number of deaths is Alaska with the 40. The one with the highest number of deaths is 39,000, I'm sorry, 32,976 in New York State. Well, where is Arizona and all that? Well, let me find out. Let's see. Arizona, 5,130 deaths. Well, from what I have heard, we're starting to level down. Yeah, but here's the big problem. Guess what holiday is coming? Labor, Labor Day. Day. And a lot of people are already getting concerned about a possible spike because it has happened after two big holidays already. Oh, God. Brazil has 124,614. Uh-huh. India, I'm surprised, doesn't have more than what they have. Yeah. And you must be doing something right. But then again, look at this. Uh, if you look at the global cases, the U.S., Brazil, and India are way in the lead. Uh-huh. Africa has hardly any. Asia, I'm surprised they don't have many more than what they do. Actually, Australia. If you, actually, if you, have to, if you go to the left-hand side, you'll see that... Um... Oh, excuse me. And you can also click on one of those individuals, too. You see, here's Honolulu. <coughs> oh, bless you. United Kingdom. But yeah, that tends to be a bit challenging. The Congo. Yeah. Tunisia. Yeah, someone said that... Oh, wow, I see it in triple digits now. Mm-hmm. San Marino, 735, Tanzania, 509, Taiwan, 480. Uh, mm-hmm. pa- that is what I would be worried about, the indigenous people of Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Pa- Papua. Yeah, Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Fiji has 29. Ha, I love the name of this country. Holy Sea. S E E. Yeah. Holy Sea. There is there is such a place called Holy Sea. Uh-huh. And the Western Sahara only has ten. Mm-hmm. Well hopefully those numbers will go down. Yeah. The only thing one thing we're Everything's about. okay, I shine. The only thing I shine's I- in the Facebook chat and she's oh, okay. But yeah, every I mean, um, you know, the CDC says you know we want to get this, we want to get this, um, um, what you call it, vaccine going by November. It's like, I don't know, that's awfully fast. 
Well, you want to know something? They want to get it out by the 1st of November. Yeah. Isn't that a little suspicious to say want it done before the, the election, which is on the 3rd? Hmm, yeah. I I'm just back. hope that One this minute. is a genuine, genuine vaccine rather than a political ploy. Yeah. That's probably my biggest concern right there. Because think about it. They want to make it available on November 1st. It's two days before the election. <clears throat> That's what I just said. Yeah. That, that, that kind of worries me. If this is some kind of political ploy, it's like, oh, crap. And you know what? Mr. Asshole will take credit for it. Yeah, of course. He has no shame. Nope. None whatsoever. All right, I'm going to head back to us here, the main scene. There we go. All right. Well, anyway, that's not that. I mean, this pandemic's one thing. Okay, I got. Hold on, I got to go shut the cage door. Okay. Okay. Good night, puppies. Good night. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. I'm kidding. <laughs> Seriously, I think I'm oh 2020. My. I think at the end of 2020, we should literally shut the door. <laughs> it's like, do not come out again, 2020. <laughs> yeah, another thing crazy about 2020: the extreme weather we've been having. You know, you got, you know, you two had the derecho. There's wildfires everywhere. We've already had 15 named storms. In terms of hurricanes. And of course, Laura basically making a big old mess out of southwest Louisiana and eastern Texas. So. You know, so we've had wildfires, we've had hurricanes, derechos, tornadoes. Well, exceedingly hot temperatures above 110. Yeah. Ugh. We're going to go back up to post toasties again until May, yeah, the end of next under, week. Yeah, because you're under an excessive heat warning again. <laughs> yeah. But we should have it down to the 90s again by Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Well, that's good. Let's see. What I, I what I do notice is when Janet had to go to her um, chemo last, it was chemo, right? Janet? Right. Last yeah. Friday. Yeah. Uh-huh. She had to go inside. Her stepdad had to wait in the car. How many hours? Oh, no. That was for my um, electrocardiogram and um, um, ultrasound on my breast. Oh, okay. Four hours. Yeah. And believe me, in those kinds of temperatures out there, Nobody should be waiting in a vehicle. I know, I know. Tell me about it. Yeah, but I mean, let's but, just but, say but he was a little, little grumpy. Yeah, and and what, you know what's really bad is you know I've got these hospitals saying, oh no, we can't let anybody but the patient. And it's like, what about the fact it's like 110 degrees outside? Let them have a place somewhere that's away from the patient, but they can wait inside where it's not so freaking hot. I agree. I am in total agreement because I know it's warm in your place like when it hits a hundred. It can hit a hundred. It feels like a hundred fifteen here. Yeah, with the humidity. Uh-huh. Humidity. Really, yeah, the humidity. But anyway, um, but anyway, uh, what was it? Parts of, parts of Southwest Louisiana that were still you know, that had no power, they actually had to change the criteria for the excessive heat warning because, you know, they were going to have heat indices like over 100 degrees, and it's like people there still have no power. Oh, fuck. Damn. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Slip of the tongue. No, Janet, you're allowed to curse. <laughs> all I know is... All I know is... We had a, it's gone down considerably now, but we had a severe bout of humidity this morning. 
Oh. And I had to go take the trash cans in this afternoon, and I thought I was going to die. Ugh. I thought I was going to freaking die. I don't blame you. Because I, can, I cannot stand the heat at all. It's like, bring on the cold when you can, please. Well, I have a feeling that given these hot summer temperatures we've had this, this summer, Mm-hmm. Winter is going to be a bitch. Oh, you're probably right. Miss, oh, what what was that, Mr. Coldmiser? Yeah. And Frosty? Yeah. Right now we're having Mr. Heatmiser. Mm-hmm. And, I, oh, you know what else in 2020 is going to be affected by this pandemic? What? Uh, don't stock up on a lot of candy. Oh. Halloween. Because hmm. think about it. How many parents are going to let their kids roam the streets during a pandemic? That's going to be a good question. Somebody had better lay down and get comfortable back there. Thank <laughs> you. Sorry, was talking to the dog. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, Frodo just put this picture here. Uh, I'm not going to say the name. Combat veteran here, just a perspective. If you arrive armed to a place where violence is happening, prepared for violence, and you engage in violence, there is no self-defense. You are, in fact, a willing combatant. If you do this without being sanctioned by a government outside of a combat zone, you are also, in fact, a terrorist. We had another word for armed civilians operating outside the military as well, insurgent. If your recourse to the terrorists is to look upon, look up the criminal history of the victims, it is no different than looking out the criminal past of everyone that died on 9-11 in order to justify the hijackers. This kid was illegal all the way around. This shit is ridiculous. And I believe that's got to do with the Kenosha mess. Uh-huh. That's getting ridiculous. It's also ridiculous. It's all this, all this. Ugh. Yeah, if it wasn't for Facebook video chat, my birthday this weekend would suck because of COVID nineteen. <laughs> Who said that? J uh, JJ did. Well, well JJ, uh, you've got your friends here. Maybe we could hold a hold a Zoom birthday party for you. Yeah, that could work. It can work. Yeah, but another thing, another sad thing that's happening, and I hate to bring this up, the vitriol. Oh. Pfft. It's just gotten so far out of hand. Dang. Why do you think I, sco I ignored the political, unless it's from F.U. Trump. Yeah. Then I won't ignore the posts from them. Yeah. But the political posts, I, I, I do the big eye roll at. Uh-huh. The vitriol has gotten out of hand. Yeah. What happened to agreeing to disagree? I don't know. But it's like... Well, it's, it's like We've been doing that for the last four years. Mm-hmm. And look, we, and, and we, look we like, didn't grow horns and claws, did we? No. Uh-uh. Because I still value my friendship over anything. You know, although some people say, oh, you should be friends with them. It's like, screw you. Okay. You don't pick my friends. I pick my friends. And shit, look at us. We've been together for 18 years. Mm -hmm. 18 years ago, the 3rd of August, wasn't it? 2nd yep. or 3rd of August? Yeah, I think it was the 2nd. The 2nd of August. I reached out to you thanks to Mr. Ace Cooper. Yep. Let's see. That's what my dad, brother, and sister are are planning to do okay yeah but um but you know all this all this vitriol is like whatever whatever happened to civil discourse why can't we agree to disagree because i'm going to tell you the truth both sides have stirred this uh -huh. agreed yeah both sides have stirred everything up like we have a, a, a senate running martha mcsally versus mark kelly and some of the advertisements are funny, but at the same time, they're vitri vit vitriolic. Uh-huh, you got word. it. You know, Martha McSally's side accuses Mark Kelly of taking money from China. 
stealing money from taxpayers, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And I can't ask for, go for specifics, but Kelly's side is doing the same thing with McSally. And it's just, I tend to ignore the political commercials anymore. I know, because it's like... Hurry up and come, November. Yeah, November 3rd, I really cannot get here quick enough. It's exactly two months from today. Yeah. I'll be so glad when this is over. Uh, but the, the fireworks officially begin. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm put. Well, I'm you know what? If Biden does win, you know who is going to cry foul. Mm-hmm. Not surprised. Same. But, same, but, it, same. but, it, but it's, it's, it's just so irritating that, you know, it was, you know, when, when someone had put up something, no, I had put up something on Facebook and all, I think I copied it from you, Tim, and, you know, things were going okay, but then, you know, some people said, stop being liberal, it's like, blah, 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 it's like, excuse me. I would rather have this be civilized. If you can't be civil, delete your comment. I wish I had said that, but I didn't. But you were thinking it. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, when people say, like, oh, your elderly neighbor is like a Nazi, it's like, don't you ever say that to me. Because if well, you who did... Who was a Nazi? My elderly neighbor. Oh... That did not sit well with me. And then someone said, and someone else said, and you guys have heard this already, but somebody else said to somebody to the effect of, "All right then, if she points, if she points at you with arresting officers behind her, good luck." It's like, how dare you say that? We're talking about Nell, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try not to mention names, but, but yeah, it's like, how dare you say that? I still have hope for this world. Okay. Sorry, Shirley. Yeah, it's all right. I, I mean, I seriously, I still have hope. But right now, until this vitriol can stop. I very seriously just doubt it'll stop once the election's over. Because mm -hmm. you know who is going to cry foul if the, we win. Right. <clears throat> <sighs> it's just so sad that it's gotten to this point. I you know, agree. Pe yeah, people people like you know friendships and families have been destroyed just because that's what, that's what trump wants yeah what well, happened with me it's like i said you know if she if my elderly neighbor if she has a trump sign in her yard and someone tries to do something i will defend her sign because first and foremost she's my friend and my neighbor i believe you mm-hmm and you know what? Somebody who keeps telling us, oh, you can't be friends with that black gay, black ass N. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not using the D-Rog. Because we have friends that are blacks. You know? Mm -hmm. And if somebody told me you can't, why don't you get rid of that black ass N? Mm -hmm. She's no good for you. Oh, I'd say, listen, you asshole, you don't tell me who to be friends with, mm -hmm. and go away. Yeah, exactly. It's like, we, it's like, nobody else chooses our friends but us. Right. And if you don't want to be friends with me, that's tough shit, Sherlock. Yeah. And, you know, if you, if you, right. if you, yeah, it's like, if you break off with your longtime friend or your family just because of politics or things not going your way, maybe it's you that needs to look in the mirror. Uh-huh. Oh, got a dry throat. Excuse me, Smurf. <laughs> I call this Smurf blood. It's very flavored Powerade Zero. Yeah. <laughs> It's like something I've seen that was really blue. I think I called it Romulan Ale, even though it was not really the actual Rom Romulan Ale. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, that's the that's one of the privileged advantages of being a nerd. Yep. Oh yeah, that's another thing that irritates me. A lot of people don't like 
like it because you're nerdy. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, mm -hmm. I'm going with, I'm not, hope you don't, not insulted if I do call you a nerd, Tim. Uh-oh, he got too quiet. But anyway, I consider you, you, Ashley, I shine. Frodo, my nerd family. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, I got my nerd family. I got you guys. I got the guys at GT Cell Geek and Gaming Tavern. You know, it's like, it's like for me, it's like if something, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I don't think it will, but I got to keep vigilant about this. If Joe Biden wins, I probably I, there's a chance that my family may disown me. I don't think he will. They will. I hope you voted. Not. They won't, surely. Cross that bridge when you get to it. I know. But and if they do, that's their loss, not yours. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I had, I think if I remember right, I needed to go to my radar because I think there was an earthquake in Alabama. Oh, shit. Where? Would you believe right around right around the border of Alabama and Florida? Oh, crap. Down around, um, oh, Florida. The Okay. What, where do they call that place? It's Florala? Florala. Oh, shit. Tell me where it's at. Okay, well, let me find out. Let me find out if this thing will open today. Thank you. Florala. That's right. That's the town that's right at the Florida-Alabama border. Correct. It's like Texarkana. You got Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana all in one town. Texark. Is it ARK the abbreviation for um Yeah, Tex Arcana. <laughs> okay. You back, Tim? I ain't going anywhere, Jan. Okay. Okay. Let me see. What was I gonna Hmm, it's not record okay, let me see if it's I've got that layer up. Yeah, I do. Okay. Apparently it was not recorded here, but there was an earthquake of about 3.4 at about 10.54 this morning. Just enough to rattle the dishes off the ca off the shelves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what the scientists are worried about? The big one in California. The Temblers are increasing all the way across the United States. It ain't just confined to California anymore. Hmm. And they say that the earthquakes in places other than the earthquake zone in California is caused by fracking. Mm -hmm. Which I believe it. Yeah. Because cause how would you feel if, if um, you were a tiny organism down there and they pumped water into the cracks of the rocks? Mm-hmm. That's what causes the earthquakes. Yeah. Yep, the shift of the tectonic plates. Right. But yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see, what else? For a little while we had murder hornets. Yeah, oh God. They they are bigger than, they are slightly bigger than the tarantula hawk wasp. Ugh. The tarantula hawk wasps are red wasps that are about like that. Mm-hmm. You see my fingers? Yeah. Good two inches long. And normally they live in the desert. Desert and kill tar tarantula spiders to take to to their burrow. Uh-huh. And they're very, very nasty. They lay their eggs inside the tarantula. Okay. That's what enough. is just paralyzed and still alive. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so the eggs hatch and ready-made food supply. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> It's like, I know this is going to be like, I don't know if we want to gross everybody out. <laughs> well, it's all part of nature. Yeah, unfortunately, that is true. Yeah, but then, let's see, we've had a lot of people, let's see, my biggest surprise was finding out Idris Elba had, was asymptomatic when he got 
uh, tested when he tested positive for COVID nineteen. Oh. And the Refresh funny thing my is, memory on who he is. Idris Elba. He was in um. Oh, what was that movie? The one, the Fast and Furious spinoff. I can't remember what it was, but um, let's see. He was also Luther on BBC America. He's played. Uh, he's played some other characters too. I can't think of off the top of my head. But I remember I saw his tweet 15 minutes before the news broke about him. Uh. And then of course there was Tom Hanks. He and his wife both had it. They they quarantined. Yeah, they I did. Yeah, where? I, I think in Australia. Yeah, they were in Australia filming something at the time. So, um, you know, they're fine now. But... Let's see. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Well, you you feel like I do. Yeah, I'm really tired. But um, let's see. We got um a lot of there was people. Several famous people have died as a result of COVID nineteen. One of them being Tom Seaver, the legendary, the legendary um player for the New York Mets. COVID-19 was just one of the causes. He also had dementia and something else. So. But yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just been tough this year. It's been tough all around. Yeah, because think about it. I was planning on going to that River Region Comic Con that very weekend that the uh, mayor decided to shut everything down. Well, you can't blame him. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I really don't, and we all did, and everybody did get their money back because there was no way they could make it up, you know. And someone's been asking me, someone's been asking uh, Sony Con, like, are you even going to have a con this year? It's like, I don't know how. How are we going to get guests in time? How are we going to do everything in time, right? Right. Well, there's always next year. We hope. Yeah. Keep your fingers crossed that next year, we won't have to worry about this mess. But, you know, we're I mean we're trying, well, but. Ex- no, hope go. for the best, expect the worst, and do the best. Yep. Exactly. Uh. Let's see. But you know, you get these disrespectful people, like Angry Mary, mm-hmm. who don't believe in the masking up. Mm-hmm. Or, um,. All the other angry Marys and Mikes out there who think it's their God-given right to not wear a mask. Mm -hmm. How about the rights of people like me undergoing uh, chemo? Yeah. Who really cannot afford, really cannot afford to get sick. To get sick. Because I don't have a perfect immune system right now, assholes. Yeah, exactly. You know, I've got two conditions that put me at risk. I have uh, diabetes and high blood pressure. And, of course, my mother is 76, so that puts her at risk. Yeah, I know. Right now, during this pandemic, people, quit thinking about yourselves and your rights. Mm Mm-hmm. How about thinking about other people, huh? Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like, maybe this weekend I'm going to reserve my right to donate blood. Because Dragon Con is doing that thing. And if you can prove it, they will send you a shirt saying you donated blood. And I can go, I can go down to Life South's main headquarters over on Carmichael Road. Uh-huh. Well, because of my cancer, even if I wanted to give blood... You can't. I can't because of the mutant gene... Uh, mutant gene I have. Yeah. So I couldn't is... donate even if I wanted to. Yeah. Which is understandable. But, you know, it's like, it's like this year's just been so incredibly insane. The but weather. for the, the most vi- part, for the most part, notice I'm saying for the most part, mm-hmm. people have behaved themselves during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Notice I said for the most part. Yeah. Which they have. I know every time I go to Walmart, I think there's just a little 1% or 2% people that aren't wearing masks. For the most part, the people are. Mm -hmm. And they respect the social distancing. 
So, okay, say what you were going to say. Yeah, let's see. I mean, we couldn't have, let's see, we could not have in-person conventions. We couldn't, <laughs> what else? Um, I didn't get to go to the Wildlife World Zoo. Yeah. You know, the zoos were closed. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's always, that's always tough right there. And it was so funny. Even the animals were missing the people. Mm -hmm. It's mostly the primates mm -hmm. at the Wildlife World Zoo. Yeah. They got to missing the crowds that come to see them. Yeah. I have a place called Monkey Island on there. Mm hmm I'll tell you this much. Um, the Shed Aquarium, they would have like, they had like, I think two sets of penguins take a tour of the aquarium while the place was closed. <laughs> oh, that would have been cute. That was, that was so cute. little fuzzy butts of Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> But you see, the, that's the thing, though. Try to be able to find the positive. Despite oh, yeah. The negative. And, of course, I got to thank, I got to give a huge shout-out to actor John Krasinski, who came up with the show Some Good News for eight weeks. Oh, really? Is it online so we can see him? It's still on YouTube, I believe. I thought it got sold to CBS. It did. It did get sold to CBS, but I'm kind of hoping that, um, you know, he could host it ever so often, but, you know, he's back at work being an actor again, so. It's not like he has time to host it, but I got mad at a couple of guys from, it was Entertainment Online Canada. They are saying, oh, you've got to do this. I say, excuse me, are you a working actor? Because if you're not, shut up. <laughs> shut the shut up, right? Mm hmm Exactly. I'll use that. Yeah, but hopefully, hopefully come, um, you know, the rest of this year we'll somehow make it through this. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's not jinx it, girlfriend. Yeah, I know. I trust you. I'm trying not to. But well, just keep thinking positive. I know. You know what? For every bad thing that happens, there's two good things that can come up. That's true. You know what? When this stupid damned um, virus shit started, uh -huh. I was in a little bit of a snit, really pissed off, because I wouldn't be able to make much trip to Walmart. Uh -huh. And then once I calmed down and started thinking about it, I go, hey, Walmart's going to be there for a while. I'll get to go eventually, which I have. Uh -huh. You know, so you can get pissed off but it doesn't do any good to get pissed off enough said mm -hmm. I've blabbed enough <laughs> oh you're fine let's face it 2020 has just been 2020 is going to be a year that will be in history books for generations this is a day th a year that will go down in history or in Not this case a year that will go down in infamy Point taken. Uh huh. Agreed. But good grief. This year's just. And we still have four months to go. We also have approximately, I think, 73% of the active part of the hurricane season still yet to come. Great. Terrific. Right? Lovely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. More, <laughs> rain, in Ar more rain in Arkansas. Wildfires are still burning in the West. It's like, well. Well, we had a problem back when we had a flash flood warning last week. Mm -hmm. Part of the warning area was a place that had been nailed by a wildfire, a big old wildfire. And now the problem with the burn scar, the scar areas, is if it rains too much, can you say whoosh? Mm hmm. Let's get whoosh. <laughs> yeah. Don't start, Shirley. This is not our time. I know, I know, I know. I'm kidding. But, um. Also, hopefully, no more ratios, please. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> My, um. When Hurricane Laura hit Texas, mm -hmm. had a friend that lived in Port Arthur, I think it was. Uh huh. 
and I was talking to her and she said, oh, we had a tree fall into our boat. The, my, she had a tree fall into her boat. I go, really? I hope insurance mm -hmm. can fix it. She yeah. says, oh, oh, the boat wasn't that big. So she, I couldn't help laughing. She posted a picture online and it, the tree that fell into the boat was a pile of twigs mm -hmm. and small branches. The boat was a small aluminum boat they take out on the bayou. So it wasn't as big as I thought it was, but I just couldn't help but crack up laughing at that. Mm -hmm. I don't Even though you. I don't think it was funny at the time. Yeah. But looking at that boat, I'm like, and I'm mentally face palming. Yeah. And by the way, uh, I found this. I found this website. Someone had posted something where like, it said Funko was going to close its doors in 2020 forever. So I clicked on it and I got Rick rolled. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? There's a website you can use to rickroll whatever the hell you want. <laughs> like, Earth will discover life on Mars or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> there could be anything. Yep, the imagination is absolutely limitless there. Oh, so. man. Ah, uh, Yes. Did you put the website on your wall, Shirley? Yeah, give me just a second. Actually, what you might want to do is go to my wall now because I have something. Oh, I'm afraid to go look. <laughs> Let me put this up. Oh, get. Oh, damn. My sh neck is killing me. Thank you. Take it easy. Oh. Calm down, neck. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Let's see, we got about less than three minutes to, less than three, actually less than four minutes to go. So, um, you know, I'm just going to wrap this up, this whole segment by saying, look, 2020 has been rough for on everyone, everybody. On it's everyone. been rough on everybody. But, you know, even though, even though we're still in the midst of this mess, try to be good to each other, okay? Yeah, I try to be. Yeah. But, but. Oh, man. Yeah, My but... mom's going to finally get out of the house in October. That's good. I won't give the date, and I won't give the where till later. Yeah, that's fine. You, I think you know where they'll be going, Shirley. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I am not going to say either. In other words, like Lieutenant Green said, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> not even for a bunch of coconuts? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was something Lieutenant Green likes, is coconuts. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we might as well go ahead and wrap this up by saying this. Of course, tomorrow night is our nearly naughty Mad Libs once again, and I'm so glad there was no extra sound in the show tonight. <laughs> oh, I actually did you it finally figure night. out what it was? Did yeah, you that, finally weird, that weird sound was my video playing on the during the show last night on my computer. It's like how you forgot heck? to turn down the media player, didn't you? Yeah. Well, this time I'm not playing anything, so. <laughs> Well, hey, it's nice that you discovered your mistake. Yeah. Oh yes, uh, Dragon Con Gone Virtual is underway, and you can know you can check their. They have stuff on Facebook. They've got panels on YouTube, and you can actually get a an app called Dragon Con Goes Virtual, on the Roku. So it's oh, like, well, I don't have Roku. That's okay. I don't need Roku. I know that's fine. Don't worry about it. I was just saying. That's all. When you use those video sticks like the fire stick of the roku and to access your cable or in cable or satellite do you have to have your password and password or username and password um i think so <coughs> i think so all right well anyway i think we're just going to go ahead and wrap this up for tonight by saying you know we hope you, we hope you learn something from tonight and we'll be ready for our nearly naughty mad libs and i don't know how the hell i did this i forgot to put the attention one ending in here darn it we'll do Jeez. our regular ending okay well i guess i'll just borrow this one so let's just end it right here with this <laughs> All right.
right, that is all for tonight. Everyone have a great night, and we'll see Jana. you tomorrow for Nearly Naughty Man Lives. Night, y'all. Jana. Jana. Night, everyone.